We've been asked to find the Maclaurin series for f of x equals x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Something from the very beginning should seem odd if we think about what a Maclaurin series is. A Maclaurin series is an infinitely long polynomial generated by a function. And of course our hope is to have a Maclaurin series that converges for some for some of the x values, maybe all of the x values, and even better than that, we actually want them to converge to the function we started with. But for right now, let's just take a derivative and follow our procedure for finding a Maclaurin series. That procedure requires me to be able to take derivatives forever of all orders. And nicely, I can for any polynomial. I'm going to get down here to the fourth derivative. I get 24, and that tells me that after that, I'll just get zero. And all of those derivatives exist forever and ever. So let's think about our definition of a Maclaurin series. We take all of those derivatives, we plug in a zero, we divide by n factorial times x to the n. So let's use these derivatives to write out the first so many terms. Well, I need to plug a zero into all of them, right? Divide by the appropriate factorial, and then x to the order of the derivative I'm on. Well, they're polynomials. If I plug in zero, I just get out the constant term. So that's not going to be too hard. All right, so f of zero is one. Um, and now I need to know f prime of zero. So actually it works out to be a minus three over one factorial times x to the first. Second derivative plus four over two factorial x squared. Third derivative plus six over three factorial times x cubed. Fourth derivative, 24 over four factorial times x to the fourth. Fifth derivative plus, well, zero. Sixth derivative plus zero plus, I would keep adding zeros. This series would tell me just to keep adding Zero. So what do I actually have for the series? I have 1 minus 3x. 4 over 2 factorial is, well, 2. 6 over 3 factorial, that's 6 over 6 is 1. 24 over 4 factorial, 4 factorial is 24. I get plus x to the fourth and then plus a whole lot of zeros forever. The Maclaurin series for my polynomial f is my polynomial f. Oh, that makes sense. If I want to represent a polynomial with a polynomial, I'll just use it. The Maclaurin series for this polynomial is, in fact, itself, plus a whole lot of zeros forever and ever. One neat thing to look at would be a Taylor polynomial. The first degree Taylor polynomial, that's our linearization of the function at zero. We could think of the second degree Taylor polynomial as a quadratic approximation of the function, so on and so forth. But that's it for now.